again. In this episode, we're going to be doing some mixing using complementary colors. And a complementary color is a color that is on the opposite side of the color wheel. Um, I'm using this pigment profile uh, labeled RYB, which is red, yellow, and blue. And this will give us some uh, color, complementary colors that are similar to that used by uh, an artist's color wheel. And we're just going to go ahead and start in on mixing some colors. I'm using a brush called Large Cover in the Oil section. It's right there on the Media Manager. And I'm going to start by mixing some red, dragging that down. And I'll go ahead and pick some other colors here. Let's see, some yellow, some green also. Let's see. Now I'll mix the complementary colors of these and blend them in using the red. The complementary color is green, so I'll pick this right here, right about here. Start painting up on that, and you, you can see as we blend these together, we're getting sort of a muddy color. It can be uh, somewhat of a mix between the two, but usually about the middle, somewhere around the middle, you'll start getting a grayish color, a muddy, maybe sometimes a muddy brown, but usually in towards a grayish color and that's going to hold true for everything we do. I'm going to do the same for that yellow. The complement of yellow is this purple color here. You see as we mix that in you're getting kind of a brownish gray color. And I'll do the same. We've already used red and green but I'll do the same for uh, that over there. And as you can see that's turning into a muddy color. And that's going to hold true for just about everything you do here. So I use some blue and some orange. this and it's going to make it into kind of a warm warm gray color so you can see our complementary colors all when mixed together turn into a, uh, a, a grayish brown color and um, to explain that a little bit more if we uh, go with our our color theory that you can mix any color from red green sorry red yellow and blue Then hypothetically, you should be able to mix these three colors together. In the middle, would we'll turn into a grayish or a brownish color, or really it should be black or a dark gray. But as you can see, as it mixes in, in the middle, it's turning into that gray color. Um, this is when you do a complementary color. That's exactly what's happening. You're taking that red. And then you're taking the green, which is a mixture of the uh, the yellow and blue. You're basically mixing all three to get three colors together, and that's why you're getting that gray in there. Now this is a very useful uh, thing to get to come to grips with because when you paint, you'll know how to mix colors a little better, and you'll know what will help keep a color vibrant and what will help. Um, help keep those colors and if you want to mix a dark color you'll know how exactly the colors mix together to make a dark color um, and when you start mixing colors you really only have to consider the color and you don't have to worry about lights and darks because that will be taken care of by the uh, the color of your pa paper and the, by the, uh, the amount of colors you mix in um, now I'm going to add a layer here by adding hitting that plus button on the layer panel and I'm going to pick a yellow. I'm going to, no, sorry, I'm going to use a, a complementary of this red, which is green. And on the second layer, I'm going to start painting some of that green. As you can see, <clears throat> we're getting a very dark color, almost black here. And that's also going to hold true if we use any of those complementary colors. And this is similar to that glazing we were talking about before, where you would take one paint layer, let it dry, and then paint on top of it. And it does give a different result than uh, mixing colors while they're still wet like we were doing before. Oops, sorry. Put that on the other layer. Let's see. You can see as I mix that purple and that yellow, we're getting an almost, uh, almost black. It's really kind of a deep, deep red, but it's almost black. And this is one way that you can mix black. Um, if your art teacher ever hears you use the word black, she would, he or she would throw a fit, of course, because they don't like the uh, they don't like to use black paint. They like to mix their colors on the canvas. 
this this is one way we do that by mixing our colors letting it dry or in our case adding a second layer and going in and um, throwing another color on top of that and as we mix that together we're getting a third color which is that dark color this is a very useful technique for mixing dark and it, as we uh, use different amounts of pressure and and allow that white to blend in there we can also control our lights so when we're painting we don't have to look over at the at the color wheel and think okay i need a a very dark red and go down here and select the dark red. We did one like we select a red. If we need a little darker color, we just throw in a complement on top of that, that green for example, and we get a little a little dark dark red in there. And we don't ever have to worry about making a dark color or a light color because it's all taken for taken care of us by the uh, by our color mixing and by the attributes of our paper text our paper white. Therefore we are able to just concentrate on color and not have to worry about a lot of color picking and that's one thing that's very useful when mixing color and there'll be more on this later in a future tutorial.